Netflix trading higher ahead of earnings after the bell today. It's up 13 percent in a month. However, it's still the worst stock in the S&P 500 this year. Mm. Now, let's discuss this with you, Mr. Brown. Yes. <laughs> I just want your thoughts on it because, as I said, this was the biggest bombshell last time. Expectations have come down so far along with the stock. Give me the mind of the investor going No, but let's keep it real. Like, I bought it after it blew up. Like, let's not yeah, act like I'm a, like no, I'm no, a Netflix no, no. But, but what's I, I'm the bag holding now? a bunch of stocks. This is not one of them. What's the mind of the investor now, <laughs> you know, irrespective of whether you bought it before, they're you, bought probably it before lose, or you feel horrible? All right. They probably, they probably lost 2 million subs. Those are the expectations. Okay. If they lost 3 million subs, the stock is going to violate uh, 185, which has been support. It has bounced off of that level, or 180, I should say. Uh, it'll lose that support and nothing will matter if, if it's materially worse than that. They haven't given guidance to that effect. I don't think they want to have the third um, gap down open shocker in a row. Go look at the, the, the price action the last two times they reported. So just like try to remember, yeah, Netflix is struggling right now. That's why they're putting Goodfellas and stuff on there. They're like doing greatest hits. They're doing what everybody does when they get in trouble. They're like... <laughs> All right, fine. Just De Niro. I I would be doing the same thing. <laughs> they have thing. I'm Stranger not even... Things, but the, even the Bulls say <laughs> Stranger that Things can only take you so far. Stranger Things was a monster, though. Yeah, And here's, here's the history of Netflix. In the past, when they've had a massive show, a new season, a streaming record, it has been good in the, in the next quarter for um, lowering the churn rate and bringing in new subs. And Stranger Things season four debut and all of the streaming records that they broke. Um, here, I think they did 930 million hours in the first 28 days. Like, I think there could be some carry forward on that. The most expensive movie they've ever made called The Gray Man, that's with Ryan Gosling, which I will not personally miss. I doubt Steph will either. That's <laughs> next week. They're predicting big things. So the programming, in the end, the content, it really does matter. The last thing I'll say on Netflix, and I've said this before, Going to Microsoft for the ads is very interesting. Mm -hmm. If you know the history of Silicon Valley, Microsoft helped Facebook build an ad platform from scratch back in 2007. Um, that, to me, is the most interesting thing. Forget about how many subs they add or lost in the quarter. You think the ad quarter. platform is going to work? I don't think we're going to see it until early next year. Yeah. But I think there's going to be a lot of hype around it. And there was a piece in the journal today about how excited the advertisers are. Of course. What's interesting about the Netflix <laughs> ad platform is they're not going to have that many subs for it on day one. But that's the growth opportunity. Hmm. Like not starting off throwing ads in everyone's face, but saying, yeah, I just think this of the user experience. Tier. That's what I think that it's going to really it's working for Peacock. It's working for, you know, there's several platforms. It's it's actually helping them. It's a different tier of audience. And it's an audience hmm. that Netflix historically has been giving itself away to for free. Let me ask you These this. Are people sharing passwords. Let me ask you this. Did you buy the stock mm. because you saw the roadkill and you said too good of an opportunity to miss now? Or I, did you buy it because you're truly bullish on the company's future, which many sort of question the, where the growth is going to be over the next, you know, handful of years for okay. a variety of reasons? Okay. So at its low, it's 197 now, but at its low, like 180, this was a $75 billion market cap. There are actually companies on Earth that like strategically, could be buyers of Netflix. I felt... Even that, with regulatory stuff? Yeah. I mean, you know, Zuckerberg can't buy it, but yes. Um, I felt that at that point in time, there was enough strategic... This is the biggest platform in the world. If you believe the stat that uh, every shared password has like up to four or five people using it in the family or whatever, that means that truly they could have a billion people watching content on this platform. So I felt that the stock had been de-risked, even if you think they're going to be in a knife fight with Disney um, and, and Amazon Prime. Well, and they Apple are, but TV. they're going to have to spend more. Even if you think that goes on for two years, it's still a huge audience. Now, what, what, what would make me change my mind? Yeah. If there is such a substantial delta between how many subs they really lost this quarter and what Wall Street was expecting. So if they say losing two million, they lose five million. I'll probably be out of the stock. I didn't buy well, you it. You want high. a flood of other people. No, sh yeah. I mean, <laughs> stranger <laughs> things have happened. No, because I'm not. Good catch. No, no, no. Because I don't Warning care. light. Because in, in the end. This is the new warning light. In the end, I went into it as a trade. I, to I told you my, um, my predetermined, like, this is my off-ramp. 
It's not that important okay. to me. If they blow, if they blow up tonight, I'll do. I'll I'll move on. All right.